Today we're going to be talking to you guys Specifically about you. vaping. Yeah, uh, and misconceptions that's going on with the whole vaping crisis nowadays. Yeah, so you've probably heard the government going on about banning vapes and all vapes. Don't forget major uh, flavored vaping since most popular with kids. Yeah, they're intending um, to only have tobacco and menthol flavored juices uh, because, you know, that's People not, go crazy for that, yeah, for, yeah. for those flavors. That's not fair to adults who can actually legally buy this stuff and will take the full consequences for doing this stuff. Exactly. Like, what what do they gain from that? Exactly. That, like, they, if anything, the economy takes a hit because of the growing, regardless of it being illegal, the growing uh, sales of tobacco because teens want to buy that stuff. Like, they want that sort of nicotine buzz, or like, whatever they look for in that. Yeah, like, the, <laughs> the biggest thing is nicotine vapes versus THC weed, dab carts, whatever you want to call them. Yes. Now, when we were doing our research on this topic, we would look back at old uh, news channels talking about the subject. And every time they presented <laughs> evidence... It's always wrong. Yeah, it's always wrong. They weren't talking about flat out vapes like jewels or, you know, actual vape boxes. Like where you just put juice in. They were their examples were only THC cartridges. All the disposable one once you go through the juice and you throw out the cart. That's 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 the only problem. Yeah. It's the nicotine vapes aren't the problem. There is no evidence based on any scientific research that implies nicotine vapes are even remotely the issue. Not saying it's healthy. Yeah, we're not condoning flavored vaping or any type of vaping. If you don't, if, if you are an average person who's at least 18 um, and you don't already smoke or do any sort of nicotine uh, activity, yeah, we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll call it an activity. Uh, consumption. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't already in, intake nicotine, don't vape. There, there's no there's point. No reason. Vaping was designed to get smokers off of cigarettes. Exactly. That and to eventually downgrade their nicotine intake until they're down to zero and they can easily quit without having serious withdrawal symptoms or potentially relapsing. That was the whole original motto of the Juul because they originally make it. That's why they put so much THC in their little pods that they have. Nicotine. Because, it, yeah. You said THC. Ah, oh, man, I'm stupid. <laughs> That's the reason that. <laughs> That's the reason they put uh, that much nicotine in their pods because it was. It, it, it's easier for you to get out. Yeah, it's easy. Like, if, in case you guys don't know, one jewel pod is the equivalent of what comes twelve cigarettes in a pack or ten. It's between ten. Yeah, it's between ten and fourteen. That's that's the best estimate we can. Yeah, I don't so smoke one cigarettes. Pod was made to emulate an entire pack of cigarettes. Yes, there's fifty milligrams of there's fifty milligrams of nicotine per per pod of a jewel. Four pods in a pack. It's supposed to equal out roughly four packs of cigarettes, so it's easy for smokers to quit because they're getting their same nicotine dosage. Yeah, they're getting the same amount of nicotine, except that they're not getting all the harmful cancer-causing stuff in cigarettes. You know, the stuff that kills over, uh, what was it? it? Oh, excuse me, eight million people every year. Eight yeah. million plus. Uh, um, meanwhile, this whole vaping crisis, vaping crisis, sick. single digits, single digits amount of people get killed from illegal felony uh, dab carts, exactly. weed vapes. Suddenly, because it's an epidemic. In most states, weed is still illegal, and the main bribe product that most people even smoke for, which is THC, right? That's the main extract that's in these illegal cartridges that people are getting a hold of and. They're not under control by the FDA, so exactly. they're, they're not checked to see if they're actual safe for human consumption. Yeah, the whole the whole dilemma is the dab carts, which is how what we're going to refer to them as. Um, they're illegal, obviously, um, and only legal in uh, states where marijuana is legal. And even then, while it's not illegal, it, it does not mean that they are commercially sold. Exactly. They are not approved by the FDA, or none of this would be a problem. No one would be putting chemicals that are not supposed to be um, in dab carts. So far, all these illegal dab carts, uh, they have found to have vitamin E, which 
You might think it's safe, but with it vitamin E... Is, it is bad. It will kill you. You can only ingest it. You can't inhale it. Because whenever it's turned to a vapor, it becomes poisonous. Yes, and that is not good. And what they also found in these illegal dab carts, they also found pesticides since... Uh, these are states where weed is illegal, so obviously the growing process isn't monitored and regularly checked through because of, exactly. because of laws. Now, it, when you pick up your, your little $45 dab pen from whoever, uh, your, your trustworthy best friend dealer, dealer like, uh, they just are trying to get a quick buck off of you. Yeah, like, they, don't, they, they probably don't. get they get a big shipment in a box from across the country, straight from Cali, where you know it's legal and stuff, but... And really, they're just getting it from some dude in his garage pouring a little bit of maybe THC extract, if even that, yeah. mixed in with whatever that dude wants, and he's giving it to your dealer, and you're getting it for $45, and you continuously are throwing away your money into the garbage, and as long as it makes you feel just relatively different, like you're high, you don't know until it's too late, and you end up in a hospital with a collapsed lung or a vitamin e, vitamin e OD. Like, in all these pictures you see of people, they, there's this most famous one, this girl who's holding up a sign, she's hold up, she's hooked up to the whole hospital thing with the mouth to get air into her. And we'll show it to you guys right now. Yes. What happens is she has a sign saying that, oh, she's now an anti-vapor because she thinks it's unsafe. When, as it turns out, that she was in a state that has a lot of illegal dab carts, mm -hmm. where that's a main problem, and... That's the thing. When people are trying to bring awareness to it, they're trying to distract people away from the fact they had illegal THC cartridges that are a cla that they're a class A drug yeah. felony possession. Yes. So you're going to jail if you get caught with one. Exactly. Uh, even if you are a minor, just because the consequences are not as bad uh, in opposition, if, if you are an adult, uh, they're still terrible and will be on your record because felonies. Uh, Tend to stay there. Don't forget record. to mention when you're not a minor, minimum sentencing laws. Oh, yeah. I'm, um, minimum sentencing laws for holding any marijuana paraphernalia, any type that has THC, is four to ten years in any state. Don't do dab cards, kids. It's bad. In any state where it isn't, where it isn't legal. So, another thing we should mention is that the, the reason all this, we're even talking about this, is because the media has it entirely wrong any news uh you've seen uh on tv or probably online as well about this specific subject they were trying to blame it on regular yeah vapes. the subcategory of vapes as a whole this little tiny subcategory small percentage of vapes that are illegal felony dab cartridges they are acting like the, the subcategory is all vapes all vapes are contain weed and chemicals that will kill you and vitamin e which is just not true. There have there are people who have been vaping since it started back in the early two thousands, and they're more. fine. Like we watched what the CNN, Fox News, and uh, Vox. Yeah, Vox had it right. Yes, Vox. They actually they distinguished weed, THC dab cartridges in, in opposition to regular nicotine vapes. Yes. There is a very big difference. Vox. They actually helped further our point and gave us. Some more good information that we're telling you all now. Like, Vox had it right. We're not calling them out. They yes, know what's up. But on Fox News, they. Um, now that we're done with my show, it's back to the whole thing. We'll, we will go on and um, move to our next point. Um, and that is that legalizing uh, vapes will only create a large black market for them, just like dab carts are right now. But the whole problem, they're just rinsing and repeating. Like, like once they illegalize vapes... It's going to be an even higher demand just because it's illegal. Just because it's legal. And people, like, a lot of people, as dumb as it is, like, enjoy, like, breaking the law and being, like, an anarchist or whatever. Uh, biggest example of our theory to back it up is prohibition all the way back in the 30s, the banning of alcoholic goods. When the ban was put in place by radical anti-drinking groups in the first place, uh, it was by a group just to show, you know, we can involve ourselves in politics, we have a cause. But no, that ended up banning alcohol for 13 years and creating a large black market of unregulated, uh, pretty much unchecked alcoholic goods being distributed. And everyone was getting their hands on it because you can't throw everyone in jail. 
And here's the thing, because of all these regulations, it was made way cheaper. Yeah, no, yeah, because it's not like it's not like it's hard to make, and people can't, you don't even have to make the stuff with DAF cards. You just have to make something that has, is a brown, thick liquid in a little glass or plastic tube, and people will believe it. Little teenagers who think they're getting a sick deal for a thirty dollar. We you know the YouTube channel Super Deluxe. I don't. Well, there's this YouTube channel called Super Deluxe, and they showed you how to make your own vape juice out of coffee. <laughs> there you go. Like, that, these are ingredients that you can buy on Amazon to make your own vape juice. Like, so where is no, that? making regular vape juice, it's just propylene glycol, <laughs> vegetable glycerin, and flavoring. Or nicotine if you, you don't have to make it with nicotine, but yeah. if you do... It's usually a nicotine salt extract. Yeah. It's distilled nicotine. Okay. It's it's liquid, like, if you it, if it, like, gets in your skin, because your skin absorbs nicotine. Like, your whole body will absorb it. That's why, like, on vape juice bottles and stuff, it'll say, do not let near children, because it will sink in your skin. You can easily get nicotine poisoning. Mm -hmm. Um... But again, with the prohibition back almost a whole uh, millennium Century. ago, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. It didn't work. It obviously ended in 13 years. So what makes people think that, oh, banning the smoking alternative, which <laughs> actually in some cases help people get off the stuff entirely and right. stop vaping. Yeah, my biggest thing is that if the <clears throat> government wasn't trying to to do big tobacco a favor by allowing cigarettes to to stay in business and to be commercially sold why are cigarettes legal if vapes exactly all vapes have killed six people why are cigarettes that kill uh eight million plus a year only rising why are they still legal why? i hate to bring this in but truth x they're absolutely awful now with all their anti-vaping ads but back then about five years ago, they made really convincing anti-smoking ads and brought teen smoking down to almost nothing. Oh, yeah, no. Then... And then vaping hops on the scene, and then you've probably seen them. We can put one on screen right now for you, just a clip. There's an epidemic spreading. Scientists say it can change your brain. It can release dangerous chemicals like formaldehyde into your bloodstream. But it's bad. They are cringy. Like... They just... So many kids are vaping, and it's so bad. But, yeah, and... We almost got this current generation off tobacco entirely. Just yeah. think about that. Like, and the thing with vaping is that, like, scientifically speaking, it's not bad. Now, of course, it's not been around for that long, and so long-term research is impossible right now. But from what we've seen, no one is getting hospitalized for hitting a nicotine vape. Or a nicotine-less vape, because you don't have to vape with nicotine. Kids, please don't vape. Come on. It's not cool. You're not stylish. Don't do it. We're not trying to condone it in any way. We're only taking a defense for it because the media is deliberately getting it wrong. Vaping is not healthy. It's just a healthier alternative to smoking. <laughs>